What does peace mean to you? For most people, it's about finding calm. A moment of stillness, even when the world around you keeps moving. It's about looking around and taking it all in, in a way that the moment lasts forever. For me, this feeling comes from the sky. Here on Earth, we are all living on a very tiny speck of dust compared to the grand scale of the universe. There are stars, there are planets, hundreds and thousands of times bigger than us. And the sheer fact that I can capture these objects is really exciting for me. I'm Prathamesh Jaju, an astrophotographer. My journey started in astrophotography at a young age. I got a telescope for myself. I attached a phone on it to capture the moon's craters, mountains. And at 16, I took one of the clearest pictures of the moon and haven't looked back ever since. Nowadays, in most places, things are getting urbanized, which is a good thing. But in my case, for astronomy, it is a very bad thing. Using a lot of lights for our day-to-day uh, -day needs pollutes the night sky. So you can't see the Milky Way galaxy with the naked eye in cities. You can't see these beautiful objects like galaxies and nebulae from the cities. That's what got me to Ladakh because the sky in Ladakh is probably one of the darkest skies in the world. I'm on an exploration to push the boundaries of my craft. I'm ditching all my gear and traveling with the Vivo X200 series. I'm in Stoke right now, overlooking the beautiful Lay City. It's absolutely freezing outside, it's minus 10 degrees. But I'm really excited to test out the different features on the Vivo X200. For my first shot, I'll be using the telephoto hyper zoom to capture the first light. So I'll be taking two pictures, one at the normal 1x and the other at a higher magnification. After almost an hour's wait, I finally see the frame that I wanted. I'm using the telephoto zoom to capture the same frame at 1x and then 20x. I don't think I've ever seen a phone zooming into so much detail without any pixelation. But soon after I took this shot, the extreme weather started to take a toll on my health. So I've come to Leh Ladakh uh, for quite a few times. I've always uh, visited Ladakh in summer seasons. I had acclimatized my body, but still the first few days are tough in these locations. So I decided to rest for the day and head out only after sundown for my next shot. Now I'm at Teru. It's on the outskirts of Leh and I'm here to shoot a very special shot. Long exposure star tail shots show the motion of the stars across the sky. I have decided to set my exposure time to 1.5 hours to capture this motion in all its glory. First, I'm just going to open the camera app, switch it to landscape mode. Here, I'm going to select the star trails option. Yep, that's all. And in the meanwhile, to beat the cold, I'm going to enjoy my little bonfire. All that light which is coming from these stars and galaxies have travelled thousands of years. In a way, I'm actually looking at them in the past. Basically, my mobile phone's camera is like a time machine. I just finished shooting the star trails and I can't explain to you how crisp and clear these trails are. This is the perfect ending to my day. I'm at Saltak right now. 
it's 17,000 feet above the sea level. So the breathing is quite heavy, as you can guess from my talking. On the way here, I spotted a herd of yaks, which is behind me. And I thought I would love to test out the telephoto macro feature on the Vivo X200 series. I was talking to some locals before and uh, almost all of them were like, you stay at a distance, you don't go too close to them. And I was like, it's okay. W what's the worst thing that can happen today? I ran for my life. At the time, I was actually thinking that I may not get this shot. But uh, uh, finally, the shepherd calmed them down and uh, I was able to take a few good pictures of the yak's eye. In the photo mode, I'm pressing the flower icon which enables the telephoto macro mode. I'm here selecting the 3.7x to capture the eye of the yak. When I was talking to the shepherd, she was very kind. Initially, she was a bit hesitant or scared. So I'm now shifting to the Zeiss multifocal portrait mode. I'm going with the 135mm because it gives better compression. So I'm going for it. I took a picture, I showed it to her. She was so happy. She was saying, I look beautiful, I look beautiful. I also felt really happy because that was the first time again, like I'm taking a picture of a human interacting with someone completely new. It was very fulfilling and heartwarming. Today is my final day in Leh and my journey here would be so incomplete without having a visit to this beautiful Stakna Monastery. To capture the beauty of the culture and the boundless sky of Ladakh, I have decided to take one final shot. You can see the beautiful Stakna Monastery behind me and in just a couple of hours, the sun will go down and the sky will be completely dark and I can see a sky full of stars. And at that time, I'll use the telephoto nightscape on the Vivo X200 and shoot my shot. So I have now set up the Vivo X200 on a tripod. In the camera menu, I'm selecting the landscape mode now slowly zooming into the 10x zoom, so the phone automatically detects the darkness and switches it to the telephoto nightscape mode. So I'm about to click now, so wish me luck. Not only was the image taken in complete darkness, I had also zoomed into 10x. Despite these constraints, the image turned out sharp. So I have spent the past three days in sub-zero temperatures the nights were absolutely freezing. Half the time, I couldn't feel my fingers. But I can just say one thing. Spending time at the monastery got me thinking. The past three days have transformed me. I came here to capture the night sky, but I've discovered something far deeper. It's not just about the pictures anymore. It's about the quiet beauty of the day, the warmth of the people, and the way the culture unfolds before you. I've learned that the true magic lies in these moments. It's how we connect with a place before we capture it.